an amazing weekend ahead. I think the whole city, even the whole country, you know, because there's Newcastle fans, Newcastle fans all over the country and all over the world. They're all over excited and they can't wait to be Sunday. I didn't actually think we would get time off football. We were meant to have a friendly in on the Sunday. Anyway, that got changed um, and we haven't now got a friendly. We're off actually Sunday, Monday. So I'm actually going to go home for it and watch it in in the beloved Newcastle uh, with my family and, you know, maybe have a have a little few, hopefully celebratory drinks to go with it. But no, I'm, I'm not going. I did try try and get tickets, but they were like gold dust, Sam. It was ridiculous. Um, even the money, some people were asking. It was just, you know, and it's not just your ticket price. It, it's everything else. But would I love to go? Absolutely. But unfortunately, I'm not. I'm just going to be watching it in Newcastle. Okay, I'll start with the political answer. So the, I f- he felt great. You know, I thought Newcastle deserved it. And all of, I mean, overall, it's very, yeah, it's well deserved. You know, it's a, it's a great, not an achievement yet, but it's a great step toward an achievement. And the personal, re- <laughs> the personal reaction was like, oh, yes, come on, lads. It's been a. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was really happy. I was yeah. thrilled. I was buzzing. It's been so long. It's been so long and people have been trying. And it's only right. And I, I felt straight away about the fans because I know the passion around this club. It's something not tangible. And that's how I felt. I was like, oh, I felt like a fan for a minute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that was good, yeah. Yeah, we're very much looking forward to it. The players are coming down to Wembley, which is great. The club have supported the girls having a ticket and enjoying the day, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, it's just a massive good luck to Eddie and the team. Again, we know how hard they work behind the scenes day in, day out to make sure the club's going in the right direction and what a positive influence Eddie, his team, Dan, and you know the owners and the staff have really brought to Newcastle United Football Club. So it's a breath of fresh air it's an absolute joy to work with these people and their advice is just invaluable so yeah we're really hoping that they get to enjoy their day and celebrate a win at Wembley I think yeah just be written in the stars wouldn't it so fingers crossed we can all enjoy that day but I'm sure you know Newcastle fans regardless of the outcome will just be so proud of their team going to Wembley and you know putting on a great performance against Man United. Once again as I'm retired I can speak freely (laughs) I can speak freely I think the the miss of Nick Pope would be more would be more of a worry uh, than the fact that to have Loris Carius in the in the goal, you know, because Nick Pope has been instrumental in Newcastle, you know, form and success this season with the back four. And I'm a defender, I am always gonna praise the back four. It's but they've been amazing. But they they're they're a whole unit. Now knowing that Whoever comes in, it's a new goalkeeper. So you need habit. You need, you know, there's you need, yeah, you need to work. You need to work to have all these those understandings. So I wouldn't be worried about the fact that this law is carries. It's a, for me, it's a high quality goalkeeper. I would be a bit, not worried, but a bit tense about. Okay, are we going to understand each other real quick? You know. Because sometimes you just need to look. You don't need to talk because you've been playing with one another for so long that you know exactly when he's going to come out, what kind of movement he does. So that's you know that that's been created over the weeks and the month. So that's the fact. The fact to have a new goalkeeper coming in for a such important game, Newcastle and especially the, um, the background staff, the, the 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 manager, they got to work on a lot of things in a very short period of time. You know, for Nick Pope, he's been fantastic for us this season. But for a split second, he's he's just, you know, it, it's absolute madness. I, I don't know why he's done it. You'd rather concede and be 3-0 down after 20 minutes. It may be a bit more understandable if it was 0-0 and it was the 91st. I don't know. Um, but again, you know, the state of the game and at the point of the game it was, I just think it's a moment of madness from him. I can, yeah. I mean, I don't see why not. You know, I think you could, no one probably expects Newcastle to win it, but... I think if you look at the hype around social media, it all seems to be Newcastle fans at the minute. And, you know, man, you were kind of just... There have been plenty of cup finals, so I probably... Yeah, I don't see why not, definitely. Bruno back. So I reckon the, the game's going to be won in the midfield and the ability that the Newcastle defence gonna have is going to have to stop my new attack. Because I'm not going to lie, 
Man U is on fire at the moment. Yeah. Man U is on fire. Man U is on the way back. So I think the team is going to hold his nerves the best. The team is going to be able to not look at the game as a the big final as it is because there's so many so many things in play outside of just playing a final for Newcastle this is we're talking about so many years without getting no silverware for Man United we're talking about the big Man United coming back you know at the first place winning silverware again so there's different perspective but for both clubs and institution it means a lot so the team now the team the start the squad is going to hold his nerves and put all those things aside and just play the game the same way they've been playing all those games that they won this season, going to be the team's going to win. I was talking to um, my goalkeeper coach today, Joe Potts, about it. And, you know, whether it's Pope and goal, Dubravka, Karius, the team in front of him is doing very, very well. There's, you know, when Pope has had things to do, he's done them, you know, exceptionally well. But he hasn't had too much to do, if that makes sense. And, you know, the saves he's made have been big saves, but he hasn't had to make save after save after save. And I think no matter what goalkeeper is behind him, albeit Carrius on Sunday, I, th- I think he'll do okay. You, you don't just, you know, especially training at that level, you don't lose it. You know, game time, yes, maybe a little bit of match sharpness, but I think cup finals are an anomaly. And he, on the day, whoever wants it more probably probably tends to win it. But um, he's... he's He's had enough experience in the past. He's not as if he's just come in as a young goalkeeper and you know he doesn't he hasn't experienced anything like this. Like you said, he's he's played in the Champions League final, and yes, that's what he's known for for you know for them couple of howlers he made. But for me, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Ideally, I would have obviously loved Pope in goal because of how exceptional he's been. But I think whoever's behind the back four or five that day, I think will be fine. Not that much, because for me, it's not a matter of Kieran Trip here. It's not a one v one. It's a whole collective effort. The same way if you talk about Marcus Rashford, for Kieran Trippier to not get past and contain Marcus Rashford, you gotta stop the ball coming to Marcus Rashford. You know what I'm saying? So it's a whole collective effort. You can't really isolate Marcus Rashford. He's not gonna take the ball from his own box and start dribbling past people. There's a whole from the front, people gotta stop the source, gotta press really well, press together in order to isolate and Kieran Trippi on a one v one. I don't. I'm not worried for him. I'm not worried because he's a good. He's a good right back. He knows his experience. They know each other. But it's if the whole team only focus on Rashford, this is when the the problem is going to start. You you shouldn't put so much emphasis on one player. If everyone does what he has to do at his best of their ability, yeah, it's game on. <laughs> it's game on. Wilson Isaac, I think. You know, Wilson hasn't, you know, had the best of games lately and he seems to just be missing the little something that he had a good few months ago before he picked up that little injury. So hopefully he hits the ground running, but it's a game of two boxes, isn't it? And I think, you know, if we defend how we've been defending and, and don't give too many chances away, I think at the other end we will create, Um, you know, and it, we've got goals from all over. Almiron, St. Max had probably his best game in a long, long time at the weekend. And I think... You know, he's, he's hitting form at the right time going into that game. And if he's on form, he's unstoppable, isn't he? He's, he's one of them players where he, he's un, he's unplayable, he's undefendable. So hopefully St. Max is on it. Hopefully Wilson finds that little bit of form he's been missing, that final little touch. And, you know, we'll, we'll keep Rashford and, and co quiet, but he has hoping. I think Manu's favourite is favourite. Yeah. Manu's favourite because of the form they're in. Because it's man you in the especially the form they're in. Now, I'd rather be the underdog. I love to be the underdog because you ain't got no pressure. The game, I think, is gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight for a while. It's gonna be a, a one nil Newcastle. And then we and then I get my, my flight and my train up to the Georgia land and we're gonna party hard. I've got to go with a Newcastle win. It's I'm going with me. Heart, not necessarily my head, but you know, I, I bleed black and white. And if I didn't see a Newcastle win, I, I'd never forgive myself. But you know, we've got enough, we've got enough in our team to beat them on Sunday. Um, you know, we've shown the league we 
we can compete with them kind kind of teams and uh, I'm I'm going me hard but I'm I'm going to say it's going to be tight probably one goal either way um I hope it's a lot more comfortable than that for Newcastle but um I'm going to go one goal either way but I'm I'm going to go Newcastle win oh I'm going to be around that's for sure if Newcastle wins the the Carabao Cup here I am I come to Newcastle for sure. 